Hello friends, this is Vishal Patel and in this video we are going to look at the types of the telephone lines. So there are normally four types of telephone lines. One is the analog line which we call PSTN line, public switch telephone network. Second type of line is PRI line, also we call it digital line or even line. Third type of line is normal GSM SIM which we use in our mobile. Fourth one is the SIP based wipe trunk or we call it VOIP line. Also, we call it SIP trunk. Now we try to analyze all the lines. In analog lines, which we have at our home before five years, now we don't have. Also, we call it LAN line. So, if we have one analog line, we can make one simultaneous call. So, suppose in your company, you want five simultaneous call to be happen. So, you need to take five analog lines. This is old uh, uh, analog lines second is the PRA line PRA line is the digital line which has 30 channel so provider will give you one RJ45 cable normal line cable and from that cable you can make 30 simultaneous call third one is the GSM or SIM the same way it's like analog line but you need to connect uh, this GSM into a GSM gateway. So if you have four GSM um, SIM, then you can make four simultaneous call. The fundamental is same, means uh, whatever simultaneous call you want, you need to take that much of SIM. And fourth one is the VOIP line or SIP trunk. So either it's virtual line or a provider will give you the cable. It start from 20 channel means you can make 20 simultaneous call and it end up up to 1500 channel. So from one normal RJ45 cable you can make 1500 simultaneous call from a single cable. Now we try to understand how we connect all these lines to the Synapse server. All four lines are supported in our Synapse server. So to connect analog lines you need to have a FXO gateway for an exchange office. So you need to connect one FXO gateway in your LAN and Synapse server and FXO gateway will talk through LAN. Second is the PRI. To connect PRI line into the Synapse server, either you can put PRI card in Synapse server in PCI Express slot or you need to have a PRI gateway. So either PRI card or PRI gateway. For GSM, to connect SIM card, again we need to have one GSM gateway. And to connect VOIP line, we don't need anything. Means you can connect VOIP line in your normal LAN card. So it's cost effective. Now, we try to understand the pricing. So suppose you take FXO gateway for 4 port, it's around 15,000. If you take PRI card, it is 30k, 30,000 or if you take PRI gateway, it is 45,000. For GSM, if you take 4 port GSM, then it will cost you around 35,000 and if you take 8 port GSM gateway, it will cost you around 55,000. For VOIP line, you only have to connect into the normal LAN card. So there is no much cost for a VOIP line. VOIP line is either physical line or either virtual line. So if provider will give you the virtual line, then you need to just give the username, password and domain into the Synapse server. So these are the four basic types of telephony line available in this world and all are supported in the NJ Synapse server. Thanks for watching this video.